Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Joe and welcome to a brand new video. It is currently 2.41 in the morning in the UK. I shouldn't really be awake, I was editing a video. And CSGO has just released a pretty important update uh, in terms of gameplay. So it's not like a new case, it's not a new operation or anything like that. But what it is, is it's called the Enemy Spotted blog post and I'm going to read what it includes because this is really big, so uh, it reads as follows. Since CSGO's release in 2012, some of the most common feedback we've received been about the challenge of spotting players in the world. Because every map in the game features significant variety of lighting and detail, each character's design to read well in a map might get lost when viewed from a particular angle in a particular location. We'll continue to address feedback about specific problems by making adjustments to the maps, but today we're also shipping several new improvements to the way characters characters are rendered. So as you can see here, uh, there's more examples below as well, but they've increased the contrast of players. So there it is pre-update, there it is post-update, and the player just pops from the background so much more. It's so much easier to see a player, especially if you think in like a shoulder peak position, or if they're like holding a close angle, they'll stand out so much more. To improve character read across all maps and locations, we've added a new graphics setting called Boost Player Contrast, which is enabled by default. It's a special post-process filter that applies the stationary characters creating local contrast so that the characters stand out from the background. This is now enabled by default and you can find a new setting in Video Advanced Video play Boost Player Contrast. I don't know why you'd disable that, you're literally putting yourself at a disadvantage by turning that off, so it's a good job they've enabled it by default. It should be mandatory though, in my opinion. So here's what it does. Increases the character's contrast against the background at far distances, strengthens edge pixels for characters at far distances, creates a small blur around the character to reduce the background noise, creates a small contrast and halo around a character when there is no color difference between the character and the environment. It kind of reminds me of Valorant, the way a enemy glows a little bit. Like you can kind of see an enemy glowing uh, before you actually see them. It's, it's a really obscure feature and if you play Valorant you'll understand, but it's kind of similar to that. In addition to the changes above, we modified the textures of some character models and adjusted fog. In CSGO, fog is applied separately to characters and the rest of the world to help characters stand out from the background at longer distances. We've decreased the fogging of the characters across all maps and slightly increased the world fog. So here are some examples, let me zoom in real quick. So here it is on Mirage with out and with the player contrast. As you can see, the CT model just pops so much more uh, than it would by default. It does have this like tiny white glow around it and the uh, darker colors of the sleeves and the legs are, I'd say they stand out more as well. Here's another example on Overpass in Heaven. We can see like, yeah, it's night and day, even from this distance, like, they show a zoomed in example as well, where you can see that glow around even more, I think it was the halo effect they called it, but you can definitely see it so much more zoomed in, but even from this, like, it just makes the enemy so much easier to see, it stands out from the similarly coloured background, which is great, uh, there we have Dust 2 at the back of sight, look at, look how much that head pops, bro, if you're still missing one taps from there, like, that's on you at that point. Then on overpass as well in playground, I think that is. I don't play a lot of overpass, but you can see once again, the greens just pop so much more. Just everything stands out so much more. And it's in an area as well on that map particularly where everything is kind of like similarly colored to the outfit he's wearing. We've got like the green on the grass and like the bluish green of the sort of painting on the wood behind him. And he, yeah, it just stands out so much more than it would have previously. Yeah, that was it. And then map changes. Uh, in addition to the boost player contrast, we're continuing to improve visibility by changing specific areas of the map. So once again, um, what have they changed here? Am I tripping? Oh, there was a flower there and they've got rid of the flower. They're doing gardening. Good job, Valve. Now, up next on Dust 2 as well, they've made the windows higher and reduced the size of them. So the CT's like player model and mask doesn't blend in. That's really cool. That's a nice touch. Um, it's just those two as well. And yeah, uh, jump into a server and see how the characters look. Today's update should improve character read in most cases, but we know that there's more to be done. If you identify specific in situations where you think the new tools aren't helping you, please contact and then that email using the subject agent read. Include an explanation of what happened and link a screenshot. And that is it for the CSGO update. I think 
that is a really good change. It's something, as they said, since CSGO was released in 2012, people have been complaining about and like, I can think of countless situations where you can barely see someone when they're peeking you, purely because their sort of colours are blending in uh, with the background area and hopefully with this, it should improve that a little bit more. Thank you guys for watching, stay tuned for more CSGO content, I've got another video coming in like a day or two, which is a really really interesting matchmaking video, uh, which was a lot of fun to film, so do be sure to stay tuned for that, and uh, yeah guys, peace. Da-da-da-da, hit my iPhone, dirt on the kicks Gotta buy more, Lilo and stick